Hi, this is Sean Hyman from MyWealth.com, and I just want to talk to you today about something that is ex you know, just tremendously exciting to me, which is when central banks intervene in their currencies and the, the profit potentials and things that you can do uh, when central bankers intervene in their currency. So let's go ahead and get started. Be sure to check out today's written blog at www.mywealth.com slash blog. I want to talk to you today about the Swiss are flexing their muscles by intervening in their currency yet again. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Back on March 12th, the Swiss National Bank, which is their central bank, intervened in their currency by selling it furiously. See what I mean by checking out the chart on the next slide. I mean, you can see here I've accented it by the, uh, the black lines, uh, their last intervention back on March the 12th. Now this is, you know, interventions with the Swiss are rare. I mean, this hasn't happened since like uh, 1992. And so it's not like they have a, uh, a bias towards intervening in their currency. They're very rare. But you can see a furious uh, 800 pip intervention over about a five day period, most of it happening in one single day. Uh, I think like 500 pips or so of it happened in, literally in one single day. And keep in mind, this is a currency pair that trades about uh, 80 pips, 78 to 80 pips or so a day uh, on average. And so this is just enormous amount of uh, movement for this, yet it still uh, stays trapped in its overall uh, downtrend. But after this time, they quickly drew a line in the sand at about 150 after their exporters had gotten crushed last year when their exports dropped a full 17%. So let's check out this next slide and you'll see what I mean there. I've drawn this to emphasize this, what I call the line in the sand. Um, it's kind of their uncle point. They, they definitely don't want to, to, to see this uh, pair drop below the 150 level because uh, their exporters aren't hedged below it. Their exporters are losing money and their, most of their exports go to the rest of Europe. And that's why the Euro-Swiss exchange rate is so um, so important here, even more so than dollar Swiss. And uh, when when this dropped below uh, 145, 144 level, it was just unbear unbearable pain, basically. And so they had to get this up. And so the Swiss central bank has supported it basically at 150. And uh, as you can see, they're even trying to push it through the downtrend line today, even on today's latest daily candle, as we see there. However, today they are back at it once again, as you can see. Uh, and if they don't get this downtrend reversed, their exports, which account for over half their economy, could suffer even more and shrink their uh, GDP even further. Uh, right now, it's anticipated that their GDP could shrink between about 2.5 and 3 percent. So they've, they've got a huge uh, incentive to get this thing reversed. But if you want to check out today's intervention, just uh, I think it's neat to, uh, to see the, how, how severe the move is by checking out the five-minute chart on the next slide. Man, this is huge. This is over 260 pips in about an hour. In about an hour. Now remember, I said it trades about 80 uh, pips a day normally. So think about how fast and furious that is. And if you were short the Euro-Swiss pair, the pain that they are putting upon the, uh, the short seller. So you're going to have a lot of panic, a lot of people bailing, and a decent chance at the Swiss actually breaking that uh, Euro-Swiss downtrend line and, and, and that would give them a huge help because you have a lot of hedge funds out there and different funds that are trend following systems and they follow the trend so they keep shorting the Euro-Swiss pair as long as the, the, uh, the trend is down but once that downtrend line breaks as we saw in the previous uh, charts the red line um, then um, then a lot of these trend following systems switch gears and they flip their positions to net long being being a buyer of the euro swiss pair in other words so once they can get over that hurdle which could happen as soon as today again it's, it won't be determined until after the 5 p.m. eastern standard time candle closes uh, to see if we actually get that or not but i mean talk about a timely uh, an event here uh, that's very very exciting i think it's something that uh, really uh, is great cause to uh, to get people into the uh, the currency market. It's a very fun market. I love this thing. Um, and how can you get started? You can go to mywealth.com, click on the courses tab that you see highlighted there, uh, and you can click on the currency course. Uh, but uh, also, if you have any more questions about uh, currencies or courses, things like that, you can give us a call at one eight six six two five seven. 9677. That's 1-866-257-9677. You can contact us at our email at sales at mywealth.com uh, as well. But whatever you do, don't wait. Get in a course and get educated today at www.mywealth.com.
Hey, I hope you enjoyed that today. To me, there's nothing more exciting than watching central bankers go in there and muscle up and push around the uh, market. It's not every day that this type of stuff happens, but the one thing I love about this market is there's always something exciting happening. The world's a big place. There's always governments, central bankers, politicians spouting off, you know, all kinds of different things that move currencies in this market and uh, provide, for, you know, just tons of potential for profit. And uh, so I just want to encourage you to, uh, to get into a course, go to mywealth.com, click on our courses tab, enroll in the course today, and, uh, and see how you can get started and diversify into this uh, market, the currency market. Thanks so much for attending. Bye-bye.